Clouded Leopard, the modern day saber tooth. Saber tooth is one of the most famous prehistoric animals. Three species belonging to the genus Smilodon emerged 2.5 million years ago and are characterized by incredibly long canine teeth, reaching up to 11 inches or 28 centimeters long. The last Smilodon species went extinct just 10,000 years ago, but one modern big cat is said to carry the saber tooth legacy to this day. This is Wild Facts, and today we will tell you the story of the clouded leopard, the modern day saber tooth. We're going to delve into everything from felid evolution to similarities and differences between extinct saber tooth cats and extant clouded leopards. Before we start, consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the notification bell so you're the first one to see our new video. Sabretooth, the most feared prehistoric cat. All cat species shared a common ancestor which lived in Asia about 11 million years ago. Felid lineages started to split during 10 migration waves, some moving to Africa, others to Europe, and even to the Americas. It resulted in three felid subfamilies. The subfamily Pantherinae or Pantherines branched off about 6 million years ago and today includes big cat species like lions and tigers. The subfamily Felinae or Felines branched off to the Felid lineage just about 3.4 million years ago and today includes species of smaller cats like ocelots, lynx, and domestic cats. However, the first Felid subfamily to go on its own way was the Macarodontini or saber-toothed cats. The earliest saber-toothed genus appeared about 8 million years ago in Africa but started migrating north towards Eurasia. These cats were specialized for quickly taking down large prey and thus possessed long canines that could penetrate deeply through soft tissue of their prey. As time went on, these cats became more and more specialized for this exact purpose. Until about 3 million years ago, the first specimens belonging to the genus Smilodon appeared in the Americas. They were ultra-specialized for their sole method of predation and had long canine teeth even when compared to earlier saber-toothed cats. Currently, there are three recognized species belonging to the genus Smilodon, including S. gracilis, which is the smallest, weighing up to 220 pounds or 100 kilograms, S. fatalis, weighing up to 620 pounds or 281 kilograms, and S. populator, weighing up to 960 pounds or 435 kilograms. The heaviest species was one of the biggest felids to ever exist, standing 47 inches or 120 centimeters tall at shoulder height. Just for comparison, the biggest living tiger subspecies, the Siberian tiger, weighs up to 660 pounds or 300 kilograms and has a height of 43 inches or 110 centimeters. saber inhabited the Americas, preying on large herbivorous animals like bison. It's speculated that species in the genus Smilodon had extremely powerful front limbs which they could use to pin down their prey before delivering the lethal bite on the neck. So, is the clouded leopard a descendant of the saber-toothed cats? Clouded Leopard, the modern-day saber-tooth The clouded leopard was the first pantherine to split from a common ancestor, explaining many differences between it and other species of its subfamily. For example, unlike big cats, it purrs instead of roaring. Until very recently, it was considered a subspecies of the leopard, but recent genetic research revealed something fascinating. The clouded leopard is not only a separate species, but it even belongs to its own genus called Neophilus. After that, it was thought that there are two species of clouded leopard, one inhabiting mainland Southeast Asia from the Himalayas to South China and the other found in the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. However, in 2006, these subspecies were recognized as separate species, the clouded leopard and the Sunda clouded leopard. It's thought that they diverged somewhere from 2 to 1 million years ago when some clouded leopards migrated to the islands through an exposed land bridge. Both species appear to be very similar from appearance to behavior. The main difference is that the Sunda clouded leopard has a slightly darker coat with smaller spots. Just for a fun fact, the spots or markings on these leopards resemble clouds, thus the name clouded leopard. While appearing to be very similar, DNA testing revealed that these species genetically are as different as lions and jaguars. That's why we're going to focus on the more prominent clouded leopard species. That said, most of the things that you're about to learn also apply to the species found on the islands. So what makes the clouded leopard the modern-day saber-tooth? For starters, just like the extinct saber-tooth felids, these leopards have insanely long canine teeth. In mainland species, they exceed 1.6 inches or 4 centimeters, while canines of the Sunda clouded leopards can grow up to 2 inches or 5 centimeters long. 
That makes them the owners of the longest canine teeth relative to skull length. For example, most big cats have canine teeth that are about 20% as long as their skull, while clouded leopards have canines exceeding 25% of their skull length. Naturally, even clouded leopards pale in comparison to saber tooths that had canine teeth reaching 50% of their skull length. For another example showing just how absurdly long are the canines of clouded leopards, let's take a look at tigers. They have the longest canine teeth out of all felids, reaching up to 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters in length. That's longer than clouded leopards, but tigers can weigh up to 660 pounds or 300 kilograms, while clouded leopards weigh up to 50 pounds or 23 kilograms. It means that tigers have 1.5 times longer canines while weighing over 10 times as much. So you can imagine just how long the sabers are of clouded leopards. Such long fangs also force clouded leopards to evolve the biggest maximum jaw gape out of all extant carnivorous mammals. You simply can't eat your food if you can't open your mouth wide enough for it to fit through your canine teeth. That's why clouded leopards have a jaw gape angle of 90 degrees while most big cats hover around 60 degrees. In comparison, scientists estimate that saber-tooths could open their jaws at a 120-degree angle. However, 90 degrees are more than enough and results in an extremely powerful bite. The clouded leopard has a bigger bite force relative to its body mass than wolves, tigers, and lions. Such a powerful bite combined with long canine teeth allows clouded leopards to hunt nearly every single animal in its habitat, ranging from lorises and monkeys to pigs and deer. These pantherines can easily take down prey with a much larger body mass compared to their own. All big cats attack smaller prey just like saber tooths and clouded leopards, that is by biting the nape. It results in an instant takedown of the victim. However, when it comes to larger prey, big cats resort to biting the throat and suffocating their prey. That's where clouded leopards are much closer to saber tooth than their big cat relatives. Just like cats in the genus Smilodon, clouded leopards utilize the same nape-biting tactic even when attacking much larger prey. There's no need to slowly suffocate the prey when you possess long canine teeth and a powerful bite that can penetrate the thick skin and dense flesh of any animal you attack. Finally, the very skull structure of clouded leopards is much more reminiscent of saber-toothed cats than modern big cats. Their faces slope back much, much more than the faces of lions or tigers. That being said, there are several key differences between the saber-toothed cats belonging to the genus Smilodon and leopards belonging to the genus Neophilus. Smilodons were incredibly muscular and had robust bills, which means that they didn't excel at climbing. On the contrary, clouded leopards are some of the best climbers in the animal kingdom. They can rotate their ankle joints backwards, which helps the clouded leopards to climb down trees head first, and they can even hang upside down from the tree branches. Additionally, clouded leopards have long tails which help them keep their balance off the ground. For comparison, saber tooths had very short tails. Estimates guess that the tail of S. fatalis was up to 14 inches or 35 centimeters long, while clouded leopards have tails reaching 36 inches or 91 centimeters in length. So despite some differences, is the clouded leopard the modern day saber tooth? We can say yes, but it's important to say that it's not the only extant animal that can take such a title. For example, the southern short-tailed opossum inhabiting South America has the biggest canine teeth out of all marsupials, possesses powerful front limbs, and has a much wider jaw gape than its relatives. In other words, this possum species has all of the main characteristics of the genus Smilodon. That's it for today's video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed watching, subscribe to our channel and check out our previous videos. Until next time.